What is up guys, your boy Gun someone welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a few ways to make your uh, mic Donald. Today I'm gonna show you guys a few ways to make your kick sound more powerful and hard hitting, but also your 808s as well. I didn't really plan this video, so let's hope it turns out pretty okay. So for the first example, I'm gonna be using my track with Slow Boy called Lunaris, which you can stream on SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, Tidal, whatever. You can listen to it on my channel as well, but I'm gonna be using this song as an example because there are a few things that uh, that I did to make the kicks and the other weight hit harder. So. So first of all, I'm using the typical Gunso kick, you know the because it just works, especially in in these kind of tracks. As for the mix, I basically just cut the highs, so it kind of hits harder, but then again, you don't really get to hear it on, on a phone or on shittier speakers. So what I actually did to kind of counter this was just to use a an open hat and I just stacked it with the kick. So if I solo the kick and the open hat, that way you actually feel it and you also get to somewhat hear it as well so you know it's a kick that's actually hitting and it sounds pretty good now as for the 808 this specific 808 style is again specific to this kind of genre you're not gonna hear this in every uh, dark trap track on soundcloud or whatever but i really really like how it turned out I didn't want to have it too boomy, so as you can see by the EQ, I actually did a normal low cut, but I actually cut it higher than I would normally do. Normally, I'd cut an 808 at around 35 hertz. This time, I cut it at around 54-ish, because on 35, it was... If you have good headphones, you'll notice the difference. It, it was really bassy, and it was kind of overpowering the track, so I didn't want to do that. So 54 hertz works just fine. I also use the chorus, but that's besides the point. The idea is that this kind of kick, the, the boomy, the bass you want with this kind of 808 actually hits really good together because the 808 doesn't have that low of frequencies. Even though it's being cut at 50, the kick actually fills in the remaining frequencies. So if I play both of them together, You have the 808, you have the melodic 808, it hits hard, it has plenty of bass, but the kick comes in and fills in for the sub. And that's cool, it sounds nice, it hits hard. Why do I keep doing this gesture? But I'm actually gonna start a new project and show you a, a more general idea on how to achieve a harder hitting kick 808 combo. Something that's, you know, gonna be more used in more beats. I'm gonna be using my plug kit for this one. But guess what? All of my drum kits are 50% off for like a few days. So you can use the link in the description and get everything at 50% off. So I'm just going to pick a, uh, a melody, a 808 and a kick and a clap just so I can actually show you guys a better example compared to just the 808 and the kick. Okay, so I have this melody. I have some hi-hats and a clap going. And all I got to do is actually create the 808 and the kick pattern. So first of all, this is how it sounds like so far. You know, it's pretty mellow, pretty chill. Now, the first thing, the first uh, tip when it comes to making your kicks and the 808s uh, sound harder is actually don't stack the 808 with the kick every time. That way, you're making the kicks not as often, basically. And whenever they come back in, it just sounds harder. It sounds like the kicks actually hit harder than they actually do just because your ears get a tiny, tiny break from the kicks instead of hearing them constantly, which is a pretty cool tip actually the other way it is done it sounds like ass by the way because of the mixing it's not mixed that's why uh so i'm just gonna eq it first of all as i said i'm gonna cut it at around 35 i don't want it to be too bassy too distorted so i'm also gonna make it mono or maybe like 75 percent mono just because uh this other way is really phasing really stereo and i don't want to have like a really stereo other way i feel like i'm having a stroke Ok, 
okay so the 808 is done i don't really feel like putting too much time into it right now so we're just gonna leave it as it is but it's time for the kicks so as i said i don't want to have the kicks too often i don't want to stack the 808s with the kicks every time so i'm just gonna sprinkle them throughout the pattern so i'm just gonna put one in the beginning and let's see how it sounds like so far <laughs> Okay, so first of all, even by using max velocity, the kick is kind of quiet. So, so what I'm actually going to do now is increase the clip's volume. So not only that it's on max velocity, but the, the audio file itself is on max volume. Here's the thing, though. On the third bar, so the 808 goes from uh, A sharp to F sharp, the kick actually sounds weaker and that's because of how it stacks itself with the uh the 808 so what you could do is actually get rid of it you know what i mean make it kind of less often i don't know what the opposite of often is so i'm just gonna say less often because it's not rare so just place it occasionally and that way the kick is automatically gonna sound harder but yeah that's gonna do it for this video uh if you guys have any ideas please and i'm being desperate please drop some ideas in the comments because uh i'm really dry i have no idea what to do it was your boy gun so as i said you can get all of my drum kits for 50 percent off you have the links in the description also please follow me on instagram and twitter and all those websites yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace